Hey everyone, it's Gidu. So in this video I'm going to be doing a flip through of the 10 count art book which is called Mirror. Um, if you hear any like weird squeaky noises it's because I'm like half standing slash crouching on my office chair and it's made of leather so um, yeah so I'm going to show you the front. It's this lovely little rice paper obi that I quite enjoy in the back. All nice and glossy, like matte and then gloss on the accents and the side. Anyways, let's just hurry up and take this off so we can get a better look at the art inside. Alrighty. Wait, does it open properly? Like it opens front face? No, it opens backwards. I'm a Okay. And the first little bit of, like, the first page is quite, like, pearly. And my laptop is dying. Give me a moment. Ow. Sorry, I just had to plug it in. I need to, like, re-stand on this chair. Because otherwise I can't really see the book. The other art book is much easier to flip through because they don't have the weird, like, cover on a cover, so it's like, it's like paper glued to the, it's hard to explain. Okay, here we go. So there's this piece, and then there's another piece that's the same, but different. So this, they have kind of bondage -y BDSM stuff. Um, I'm not really into that sort of thing. So I prefer the original picture. And it's not that there's anything like wrong with it. I go, you do you, right? I do not care. Um, it's just not like my thing, you know. So I'm going to try to go through here quick. Again, this one as well. It looks like this. And then it flips and they have, like, he's chewing on the end of, I think it's a whip. <laughs> and then he's kissing his foot but his shoe's on. And Shirtani must be just having a freak out. It's dirty! It's dirty! So I have read this manga. Um, I really do like her art style. Or his, I think it's a her though. I really do like her art style. Yeah, like this one again is the same, except this one they have like pet ears. See? And tails. Um, I, I love her art style very much. And I really liked the story at the beginning. <laughs> um, the fact that he had, is it misophobia? Something like that? I keep forgetting the actual name for it. And it's where you're like, like very scared of germs and stuff like that. So it's a phobia. You constantly wash your hands. You keep everything super clean. And that's his character here. He has that issue. That's why he always wears gloves because his hands are covered in um, cuts actually because he washes his hands so much that they get so dry and they cut. And this man, um, Hello. what's his name? Good job. Kurose? Kurose? Like that? Yeah, I think. <laughs> um, and he is a is it a psychologist or a therapist or something like that? And he finds out, like, he meets him and he's like, oh, so you have this condition. He's like, I want to help you. And he pretty much slowly tries to help Shiratani out and teach him and, like, kind of get try to get him over this phobia he has. Again, like, the same but different. Get him over this phobia he has. But he ends up falling in love with him. And then... It gets a little weird after that. Like, the whole beginning is super cute. He's super gentle with the main character. And that's what I loved is the fact that he was really understanding and he took really good care of him because he knew he had this disorder. And he was trying to, like, cure him of it. Um, I believe this one also has a second. Yeah, there. Um, and trying to, like, kind of cure him of this disorder. And then all of a sudden it starts getting really weird. Like, Shirtani has this past that has this... Thing to do with his dad which I thought if you've read it I'm sure you understand it's a little strange um I just want to be a good body pillow this is nice too um 
Yeah, and then it, it just, it gets, like, like, weirdly perverted. Like, not like, oh, they're in love and then they have sex. It's like, no, he's like, you're fucked up and I'm fucked up, so we're gonna be fucked up together. And, like, I can kind of get that. And now we start going into um, her artwork for other things. So only the little, like, only the beginning part is actually about 10 count. Which, I keep calling it a 10 count art book, but it's really the author's art book. Uh, and I, I don't, I don't remember her name, so I've been calling it a 10, 10 count art book. Just, yeah. Anyways, uh, so we're just going to keep flipping through the art of these other characters she has. Again, her art is so pretty, though. But yeah, so... And the story gets pretty strange. And it's just, like, not my thing. The whole dad thing's a little weird. And I'm actually really curious if you guys have read Ten Count to give me your opinion on it. And, like, what you think. Um, and for, like, the longest time, it was taking a really long time to update on online. And um, it was, like, the, the, like, middle of a sex scene. And it was taking so long. And I think this sex scene ended up being like like four or five chapters long. And it, there was these gigantic breaks between the updates. And each chapter was pretty short and like had to do with the sex scene. So it ended up being very like just every time there's an update. Oh, just a continuation of the sex scene. Continuation of the sex scene. Okay, okay. I was like, please just get on to the story. I don't know, like, their love felt really cute and genuine and, like, it was gentle and everything at the beginning and, like, he was trying to help him and then it just got really weird. Like, all of a sudden he got really aggressive and really forceful. And, like, even though Shiratani wasn't ready for things, he's, like, really in his face about it. And I'm like, mm, but you, that's, like, against your character, in my opinion. It was against the way she originally wrote, wrote his character, at least the, the way he originally came off as. Um... I don't know, it obsessed me, upset me. I'm sorry if I, like, I'm talking too much. I hope it's not bugging you. Um, I'm just kind of giving my opinions on that series itself. But I'm, I'm still reading it just because I feel invested after you get so far. I kind of want to see the outcome of the two characters and whatnot. Um, it's not my favorite, though. I do have a favorite BL manga. Um, I actually have, like three now and they're all by the same art um all by the same author and artist so if you're interested in knowing what those are um I can totally let you know and I can totally link you to the online actually one of them um don't be cruel is getting an English translation so it's being licensed here and I'm excited about that because I own or, I guess, Electric Delusion, if you've seen one of my other hauls from CG Japan, I ordered the entire series of that in Japanese. That one doesn't have an English translation. But Don't Be Cruel is the original, is like the actual Japanese, or the actual <laughs> English translated name for it. Not, not Electric Delusion, that's the one I bought in Japanese, but the other one that is being released here, that is another one of my favorites. Very good. Super cute. At first, it's a little weird and a little forceful, but it gets, like, so incredibly adorable that they're one of my favorite couples. Um, same thing with Electric Delusion. I love it so much. Okay, and this character here looks so much like Asato from Lamento, and I keep looking at him, and I'm like, hmm cute. And he, like, well, I mean, he's a tiger, so I kind of like Bardo, but he looks nothing like him, so I can't really say that. But yeah, I like her art so much. All these pieces are really cute. I've seen this picture before, too, and I, like, I think I've had it saved on my phone or on my computer for the longest time, and I did not know it was by her. And then I was flipping through here the other day, and I was like, what? That's her? Anyways, and she's showing her how she does her art on um her like tablet that actually has a screen lucky duck um yeah it's just really cool to see how she does stuff and all her like stuff she has a posing thing and my feet are going numb from standing slash crouching like this ow um and then just the little blurbs about each art piece him on the back there and then another little pearly page and we are back at the end, or back at the front now. 
So I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. You know the drill. I like talking to you. Um, please let me know if, like, what you think of 10 count. I'm very interested in hearing other people's opinions. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.